All right, folks, in the last video, I explained to you how the uh, combined gas law was derived from Boyle's and Charles and Gay Lussac's law. Now I'm, going to show, now I'm going to show you a problem and how to apply this. So let's look at this first problem here. Okay, It says a sample of nitrogen gas. Let me try to move this up to the top. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys, still sick. A sample of nitrogen has a volume of 883 milliliters and a pressure of 741 torr. What pressure will change the volume at the same temperature? Now, notice here that they gave us numbers for volume and they gave us numbers for pressure. Okay. See, so in the beginning they mentioned volume, in the beginning they mentioned pressure, then they asked the question, what pressure? And then they asked, uh, well, excuse me, then they gave us the second volume. So what you would want to do is you would want to list as many things as you possibly can, meaning you would write, write it down like this. Uh, write down the 800, 883 milliliters. Now, that is the first volume hit you hear, so you know, let me show you the uh, webcam, you know to write down 883 milliliters for the first volume that we heard. Notice that on the pressure, the first pressure we hear is 741. Now, notice that they use TOR. That's okay. We don't have to convert the TOR into ATMs just yet. Uh, it's just the temperature is the big deal usually. You know, you always have to convert temperature no matter what to Kelvin. But here, this is the first pressure that was mentioned. So we know this is our first pressure. This is our first volume. Now notice that as we keep reading, they mention what pressure. So this is the second time they've mentioned pressure, so we know this is the second pressure. Except this one's unknown. And as you read on, now let me show you the problem again. It says, what pressure will change the volume to 655 milliliters? Now, that's our second volume. And they said our second volume was 600 and, I can't remember, sorry, uh, 655. So, we write down 655, and they said milliliters. So, we fill that in. Now, if you remember the combined gas law, it's P1V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. Now, notice in this problem, let me go back to the problem and show it to you, they said that the uh, the temperature was the same, so the temperature did not change. So basically what we can do is we can just look at this equation now. Now, this equation might look a little familiar to you, and uh, if not, then maybe the letters do. Now, P and V. Now, who is VP or PV? Well, VP was Boyle's Law. That's right. This is Boyle's Law from the combined gas law. And we could just mark out the T simply because they said they were the same. So all that we need to do now is solve this for the second pressure. And notice that this is being multiplied. So to get the P2 by itself, you need to move the V2 down. Notice that the P2 is uh, needs to be gotten by itself. If you're going to try to get it, get the P2 by itself over here, the P1 and the V1 does not need to move. Only the V2 needs to move, and it will be moved down here because you have to divide both sides by V2. After this, you just need to substitute in for P1, V1, and V2 to get P2. So basically, our P1 is 741 tor, and our uh, first volume was 883 milliliters, and our last volume is 655 milliliters. Now after that, that would give us our answer in, uh, for pressure. Uh, we do need a calculator, so let me uh, turn my 83 calculator on. Sorry, I forgot to do this ahead of time. I apologize for the uh, the wait. All right, here we go. I might have clicked on it too many times. All right. Yep, I did. Sorry, guys. So click on this, and uh, hopefully it will start up for us. <laughs> so we will take the 741, multiply it by the 883, and divide that number by 655. 
I know, I'm still waiting for it to start up as well. It says it's opening, so just got to be patient, I guess. Yeah. Could have swore that I... Yeah, here it goes. Sorry, guys, things are just running a little slow today. So let's punch this in on the calculator. All right, let's turn the calculator on. And we said we punch in 741 times uh, 883. Whoops. Let's clear that out. And we will divide that by 655. And we would get 998.9358779. Now, if you'll stop and look, we only need three sig figs. So my P2 is going to be 999 watt. What's the units for P in this one? Tor. T-O-R-R. -R. Now, if you need ATMs, you just divide that number. Uh, you divide 999 by uh, 760 and you'd have your ATMs of, if it had to be an ATMs, it would be 1.31 uh, 1 ATMs. So anyway guys, I hope this was helpful uh, showing you how to uh, uh, you know, do these problems and just watch the video over and over and over again and uh, just remember that you can use the combined gas law to do all of your uh, calculations you don't have to remember, memorize the other three. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful. Now the time's for the credits.